All right, I came to the school. So I'm standing in the lab. Um, I've got some gummy bears. I've got some potassium chlorate in the test tube. I wanted to, many of you guys have seen this, but I wanted to show you it. And then we'll talk about the stoichiometry involved. So there's potassium chlorate. Potassium chlorate's an ionic uh, salt. And I'm gonna melt it, right? So I've got, it's got a relatively low melting point contain, uh, compared to like sodium chloride. So I'm gonna melt this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my gummy bear, which is a good uh, source of sucrose, and we're gonna do a little chemical reaction here. So heat this up a little bit. You can see this starting to melt. So potassium chlorate contains a high mass percent of oxygen. So creating a lot of oxygen gas right now. Some of the bubbling that you see. But we'll get this completely melted. So molten potassium chlorate. Almost there. Sorry, this is not the most exciting part. So this sucrose in here, we're going to oxidize using the oxygen from the potassium chlorate, right? Rather than just burning this in air, kind of make a goopy mess, kind of burn kind of slowly, or burning it in your stomach would burn even slower. So we'll get a nice oxidation reaction, combustion reaction happening here. All right, we're very close. Okay, here we go. I'm going to remove the heat just to get it out of the way once we're molten. Got to be careful kind of dropping this in. All right, you can see molten potassium chlorate. I'll move it out of the side. And here we go. Here's potassium chlorate gummy bear. I got to turn on the exhaust fan. See, now I've lost a little bit of the potassium chlorate out of there. It's going pretty good. All right. Do I have enough potassium chlorate for the second gummy bear? Try. I'm going to give it a little bit more heat. See if I can melt any more. Turn this off. And we'll just try. Nope. I think we're about out. So I've done this reaction enough to know how much to use. So I think I used about a one gummy bear amount this time, but let's do the stoichiometry. Oh, you can hear a little popping left, but not much. 